I'm Peter Hammond and I'm a consultant physician uh, specialising in diabetes and endocrinology here in Harrogate. Popular misconception is that um, a pump will do everything for you. So, you know, once you've got a pump, then that, that'll solve it. It'll keep your glucose levels uh, stable within target without you having to do anything yourself. And I think one of the most important things is to understand that if you're going to get the most out of pump therapy that actually there's quite a lot of work involved particularly initially in getting everything right in terms of the settings and things. The person who's thinking about going on to pump therapy um, needs to understand what the technology involves so they need to understand that they're wearing a device all the time. I think it's very important that the user feels comfortable and confident with the pump that they choose. How discreet is the pump? Um, what size is it? Um, what's the, the usability like? You know, how, how user friendly is it in terms of the, the interface? So when you're, when you're looking either at the pump or the handheld, how does that look? How do you feel um, in terms of the, the ease with which the, the, the sort of button pressing aspects of a, of a tethered pump and the manipulating the, the handheld device? Do they want a patch pump? Do they want a tethered pump? Are they not bothered? Um, and then the final element, I think, is integration with continuous glucose monitoring. So is there the potential to integrate with continuous glucose monitoring? With the patch pumps, you know, you can wear them in uh, different sites and, and perhaps you're able to um, hide them a bit more, more easily. And obviously with the patch pumps, they're completely uh, dependent on uh, control from the handset. So, so really, you do just look as though you're, you're using some kind of handheld device and no one need know that, uh, that you're actually uh, controlling your blood glucose levels at that time. Anybody who's moving from multiple daily injections to pump therapy um, would be suitable for the Cell Novo system. So I, I think, but there are people where you might steer them towards it for um, particular features of the system that you think would benefit that individual. So I do think that it, it's particularly um, are very active, physically active, um, people you know who who are um, physically active in their work or, or recreationally as, as Chris is um, and and actually who who are keen to have that information so when you show them the the software and, and the information they can get from that go yeah I, I'd find that really useful um, in terms of managing my diabetes to tie in um, physical activity carbohydrate intake insulin dosing glucose levels juggle that information to fine-tune my control. Those are the people, I think, who will get the most out of the system. Clearly, the patch pump, as we've said, in itself gives you advantages, but it's the whole system, I think, that, that is the attraction for, for those people who, who would opt for it. What you want is to help people to live a normal life um, while still being able to um, adequately control their blood glucose levels and their diabetes and, and I think pump therapy just makes it that much easier um, to maintain a normal life.